The third intermediate period of ancient Egypt begins with the death of Pharaoh Ramesses XI in 1070 BC, ending the New Kingdom, and ends with the start of the Late Period, for which various points are offered, though it is most often regarded as dating from the foundation of the 26th dynasty by Samtik I in 664 BC. Following the expulsion of the Nubian rulers of the 25th dynasty by the Assyrians under King Ashurbanipal, the period was one of decline and political instability, marked by division of the state for much of the period and conquest and rule by foreigners. But many aspects of life for ordinary Egyptians changed relatively little. 21st Dynasty the period of the 21st dynasty is characterized by the country's fracturing kingship. Even in Ramesses XI's a day, the 20th dynasty of Egypt was losing its grip on power in the city of Thebes, whose priests were becoming increasingly powerful. After his death, his successor Smendis I ruled from the city of Tanis but was mostly active only in Lower Egypt which they controlled. Meanwhile, the high priests of Ammon at Thebes effectively ruled Middle and Upper Egypt in all but name. However, this division was less significant than it seems, since both priests and pharaohs came from the same family. 22nd and 23rd Dynasty the country was firmly reunited by the 22nd dynasty founded by Shoshenk I in 945 BC, who descended from Meshwesh immigrants, originally from ancient Libya. This brought stability to the country for well over a century, but after the reign of Asurkan II particularly, the country had effectively shattered in two states with Shoshenk III of the 22nd dynasty controlling Lower Egypt by 818 BC while Teklot II and his son Asurkan ruled Middle and Upper Egypt. In Thebes, a civil war engulfed the city between the forces of Padubas I, who had proclaimed himself pharaoh versus the existing line of Teklot II, Asurkan B. These two factions squabbled consistently, and the conflict was only resolved in year 39 of Shoshenk III when Asurkan B comprehensively defeated his enemies. He proceeded to found the Upper Egyptian Libyan dynasty of Asurkan III, Teklot III, Rudamun. But this kingdom quickly fragmented after Rudamun's death with the rise of local city-states under kings such as Peth Jorbast of Heracleopolis. Nimlot of Hermopolis, and Ini at Thebes. 24th Dynasty The Nubian kingdom to the south took full advantage of this division and political instability. Prior to Piyer's Year 20 campaign into Egypt, the previous Nubian ruler, Kashta, had already extended his kingdom's influence over into Thebes when he compelled Shepanukpet the serving divine Adoratius of Ammon and Teklot III's sister, to adopt his own daughter Aminadis, to be her successor. Then, 20 years later, around 732 BC his successor, Piye, marched north and defeated the combined might of several native Egyptian rulers. Peth Jorbas, Asurkan IV of Tanis, Iluput II of Leontopolis and Tefnecht of Sais. 25th Dynasty Piye established the 25th dynasty and appointed the defeated rulers as his provincial governors. He was succeeded first by his brother, Shabaka, and then by his two sons, Shabiku and Tahaka respectively. The reunited Nile Valley Empire of the 25th dynasty was as large as it had been since the New Kingdom. The 25th dynasty ended with its rulers retreating to their spiritual homeland at Naparta. It was there that all 25th dynasty pharaohs are buried under the first pyramids to be constructed in the Nile Valley in millennia. The Napatan dynasty led to the kingdom of Kush which flourished in Naparta and Miro until at least the 2nd century AD. The international prestige of Egypt had declined considerably by this time. The country's international allies had fallen firmly into the sphere of influence of Assyria and from about 700 BC the question became when, not if, there would be war between the two states.
Despite Egypt's size and wealth, Assyria had a greater supply of timber, while Egypt had a chronic shortage, allowing Assyria to produce more charcoal needed for iron smelting and thus giving Assyria a greater supply of iron weaponry. This disparity became critical during the Assyrian invasion of Egypt in 670 BC. Consequently, Pharaoh Taharqa's reign, and that of his successor and cousin Tantamani, were filled with constant conflict with the Assyrians. In 664 BC the Assyrians delivered a mortal blow, sacking Thebes and Memphis. End of the Third Intermediate Period, Upper Egypt remained for a time under the rule of Tantamani, whilst Lower Egypt was ruled from 664 BC by the 26th Dynasty. Client kings established by the Assyrians who nevertheless managed to successfully bring about Egypt's political independence during the time of troubles facing the Assyrian Empire. In 656 BC Samtik I occupied Thebes and became Pharaoh, the king of Upper and Lower Egypt bringing increased stability to the country in a 54-year reign from the city of Sais. Four successive site kings continued guiding Egypt into another period of peace and prosperity from 610 to 525 BC. Unfortunately for this dynasty, a new power was growing in the Near East, Persia. Pharaoh Samtik III had succeeded his father Amos II for only six months before he had to face the Persian Empire at Pelusium. The Persians had already taken Babylon and Egypt was no match. Samtik III was defeated and briefly escaped to Memphis before he was ultimately imprisoned and, later, executed at SUSA. The capital of the Persian king Cambyses, who now assumed the formal title of Pharaoh. Historiography The historiography of this period is disputed for a variety of reasons. Firstly there is a dispute about the utility of a very artificial term that covers an extremely long and complicated period of Egyptian history. The Third Intermediate Period includes long periods of stability as well as chronic instability and civil conflict. Its very name rather clouds this fact. Secondly there are significant problems of chronology stemming from several areas. First, there are the difficulties in dating common to all of Egyptian chronology but these are compounded due to synchronisms with biblical archaeology that also contain heavily disputed dates. Finally, some Egyptologists and biblical scholars, such as Kenneth Kitchen or David Roll have novel or controversial theories about the family relationships of the dynasties comprising the period. Images Face from a coffin Right hand from an anthropoid coffin Bibliography Dodson, Aidan Mark 2001 Third Intermediate Period, in the Oxford Encyclopedia of Ancient Egypt, edited by Donald Bruce Redford, Volume 3 of 3 Vols, Oxford, New York, and Cairo, Oxford University Press and the American University and Cairo Press, 388-394, Kitchen, Kenneth Anderson, 1996, The Third Intermediate Period in Egypt, Third Ed., Warmansty, Aris and Phillips Limited, Misley Week, Carol, 2000, The Twilight of Ancient Egypt, First Millennium BCE, translated by David Lawton, Ithaca and London, Cornell University Press, Porter, Robert M., A Network of 22nd 26th Dynasty Genealogies, J.A.R.C. 44, 153-157, Taylor, John H. 2000. The Third Intermediate Period, in the Oxford History of Ancient Egypt, edited by Ian Shaw, Oxford and New York, Oxford University Press, 330-368.